Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with a game by its cover, Game Jam 2017. This is a game jam that challenged developers to make a game based on Femi cases that were made by other people, so they're not real cases. Um, they are made-up games that then can inspire you to make games. This game jam has a lot of entries. I'll be playing each one for a minute, 10 per video. Links to the individual games in the description, so you can check them out further. All my info will also be in the description, so you can check out my Twitter, you can check out my Patreon, my website, etc. This video is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each month so that I can continue to record all of these game jams and indie games, as well as do all of the writing and other stuff that I do within the community. So thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites. Keep a lookout for that. All right, next. We're playing the game, hell? Some words in a different language, hell. Cool, cool, awesome. All right, so, egg. We've made an egg. There's a lot of eggs in hell. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Ah, now I'm a chick. I'm a really cute chick as well. This is what happens when you fail to crack your eggs. I ate you. I leveled up as a chicken. This is really fun. Oh, we've, we've had an egg. Can I eat the egg? No. Okay. Okay. So now I'm this guy. I've switched back to the little chick. Alright. Even bugs inside the house that I can eat. Can I eat eggs from the pan? No. Okay. I thought maybe there was some grain on the table that I could consume, but I guess not. Then we just become the new chick again. Weird. Next. We're playing Welcome to the Dragon's Palace. The Dragon Palace? Start adventure. Awesome. Ah, uh, sorry, my bottom bar is coming up. I just want to adjust this really quick. Right, the letter was right. It's been far too long since you did anything for yourself. How long has it been since you left your own neighborhood? Two years? Three? Let's look at the letter. These little animations are great. Anna, I can tell from the way you haven't been returning my calls and the fact that I haven't seen you in months means you've got the blue you've got the blues something awful. I know you don't like it when I pry, but I know you enough to tell myself that someone needs to step in and pull you out of your rut because you sure as hell aren't gonna do it yourself. I've booked you a room at a little place that always brought me back to life when the world got to me. Don't go blabbing about it to your friends in the office. This place is sacred to me. To just about everyone who walks the doors, really. I hope it'll do for you what it did for me. All of the arrangements have been made. Pack your things and meet your driver outside at 10 a.m. on the 17th. Tell whoever's at the front desk, Triton, Triton sent me. They'll know what it means. Give me a call when you get home. I don't expect to go back to the way things used to be, but it's nice to see you again like old times. M. Letter was right. Okay. However long you've fallen into a routine. Wake up at the same time each day, eat the same dinner on the same block as your office, come home at the same tiny apartment and try and find something to keep your hours occupied before you fall asleep. Rinse and repeat. So here you are, sitting in the back of a chauffeur-driven car that you've never e even dreamed of being able to afford, staring out at the neon signs as you creep closer to this mysterious destination, wherever that might be. Grand Hawaiian Motel. You hold out, hoping it won't be long before you get there. You've radio, 27 gasoline. Let's do American Electric Supply Company. Cool. 
Lights outside your window are starting to get brighter. More garnish. More garish? Uh, greater towering Marquis-like billboards, ten-story cowboys twirling their lassos in the same two frames. All at once, your driver turns towards the pavement and pulls to a stop. This is it. You step out onto the curve, and the driver tips his hat as he pulls back onto the street. It takes you a moment to drink it all in, the velvety red carpet leading up to those big, beautiful double doors, the twinkling shells that pepper the arches on either side, and just over your head in bright aquamarine lettering, just subtle enough that your eyes would gloss right over them if you weren't looking for it. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Your heels sink into the thick red carpet as you step forward. A bellhop rushes forward to unpack the single suitcase you packed and rushes off in the building before you're able to stop him. Take a breath to st- taking a breath to seal yourself, you pad forward along the red carpet to the front door and into a different world. Huh. This is very well written, and the pictures are beautiful. Subtle animations add a lot to the story. And so I wonder, like, I wonder if this place is going to be as like grand as it seems, or if there's some other ulterior motive, or if we're just gonna have a good time there. Next, we're playing the game Hoard It. So some of these games are gonna have the same names because they're named after the same name as the cartridge. I'm trying to open up chests in hopes of finding a key. Yeah, I think this is a procedurally or randomly generated uh, game as well because there's a key. There's um, a key on your keyboard, I should say, that you can press to just regenerate the level. And that's this one. So that you can have a whole new area. The graphics are nice, too. I'm not sure if I'm actually getting keys, but... Because the chests have sort of a lock symbol on them. Bam, bam, bam. Hmm. Guess we'll go this way. This is a very good start. I like the death animation. Well, death animation. I like the death frame. Does that make sense? I like the way the zombies turn into sort of these almost morbid, gory bodies that sit on the floor where you've left them. Um, not a lot of games show a sort of dead version of the enemies left on the floor. And it's interesting when games execute it well and have those. We can use a key. Oh, it's a boss! These are like skeletons, not really zombies. But. I mean, so far, no one's really touched me. Hmm. I think we won. Next. We're playing Little Satan's Cake Quest. Oh, we get to eat the title screen to start. This game's fantastic. Ah, so we're like this little devil thingy, and we're kind of killing zombies. Zombies or skeletons? I don't know why zombies and skeletons are like the same in my head. Alright. I like the way we see health. Ugh. So you can get in like that many hits before going down. We'll get him now. Ah. Nom nom nom. Look at all these foods that. Ah. It also like freezes them when we hit them. It's like a donut. Donut that gave us more life. Nom nom. Ah. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Also fatter. Okay. One more. Om nom. I like how they freeze for a second when you hit them as well. No, there's so many little good, like, good little, little good. There's so many aspects to this game that are really clever and well thought out. Oh, you can freeze in the air and just hit, hit them for, like, a while. Because when you shoot, you sort of freeze in the air. So I can, like, go there and... That's cool. 
I don't want to keep getting hit, but at the same time, I want to destroy things. This jam is full of so many good games. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Well, he's got like a shield. So I bet you we can only hit him from behind. Yeah, that makes sense. Ugh, I'm not jumping well. Ugh, next. We're playing Kawaii, a new adventure. I don't actually know how to start this game. Ah, oh, there we go. I just hit a load of buttons. I feel like we might need to move just a touch up, but yeah. Nope, alright. How do we, how do we play? Cool. Wow, that was some crash say It'll probably take me some time to clean up here. Can you go try and find a, a pair of jumper cables to get the ship back online? I mean, I could. I won't see one, though. So. Don't you listen? Go see if you can find some jumper. I like, I tried, but there's only, oh, okay. Damn, Sands gunked everything up again. Jumper cables? Hey, try the town just east of here. There is a, a mean dungeon on the way, be careful. All right, so, east is forward. This land looks cool. My companion and I are having water break. Yep, we're best buds. Gabriel, pet? Yeah, pet, gah, received one feather. Cool. Clack clack, try the creatures trying to hand you two small bones. Should you take them? I guess so. You receive two small bones. I bought a feather and a couple of small bones. These graphics are cute. I bought like a vacuum. Ah, oh, I kind of vacuumed up a bullet and threw it back. That's cool. Oh, I also have a jet. So if I suck in a load of air, I can then jet around and then suck in more air. I don't know if the air actually has anything to do with the jet, but my jet stopped working and I sucked in more air, so I'm just going to assume I'm right. The jet really makes you floaty. Ooh, is the only thing. Oh, we fell. Wow, well, if we suck up enough bullets, we can like really throw the bullets back. This is a really cool mechanic. Hmm, huh. next. We're playing the Gaia Directive. Ooh. Huh. We just came out of there. This is a weird world. Something in there sounds like it's screeching. What's that? I'm gonna guess that's our, our objective because when I hit space, it highlights that. There's like a fire here. Okay. This place is really strange. There's another one up there and one up there. Okay, so maybe those are like the starts of different tunnels because it looks like. A previous tunnel is also highlighted. This one's closest, so I guess we'll go in this one. Can't really climb up though. Need to go around this maybe. Hmm. 
Weird. Still can't make it up there. It's a very interesting world to walk around in. Next. We're playing Alias Express. Alias? Alias Express? I don't know. Sure. Cigarette. Grab, drop. Ah, it's telling me how to grab and drop. Okay. Kind of wanted that cigarette, but I guess not. It's probably bad for my health anyway. Wow, look at this room. Oh, this person looks, uh, dead. And also there's, like, a thing over the door. It's not actually letting me grab, which I find frustrating. Grab with this one, let go with the other one. All right. No. I could open this door. Wow, there we go. So now I've got a phone. Sure, what we're doing, but that's like a camera. So let's do a camera. Look at this dead person. Okay. Attention, you might die. Two people on the train checking out the view. You guys look like you have guns. Maybe that's just your hands, though. Who's the killer? Well, I don't know. Probably not that, that one, maybe. We made a decision. I don't know if we really thought about it very much. But here it ends. You shouldn't go further, but maybe you are curious. <laughs> like a floating suitcase. All right. Well, let's uh, keep going. I'm not sure I was supposed to tell who the killer was, but... We were supposed to take closer detail of everything. Bam. Hmm. Weird. Next. We're playing Paragon Gale. Alright, arrow keys, ZX, blah blah blah. Cool, press jump button. I <laughs> don't... Z. <laughs> Your game. Dark Lord Zuma has stolen the Paragon Gale and chaos has covered the world to help poor humans go through the Dark Lands, defeat Zumba. I didn't get to read it fast enough, I'm sorry. I thought we'd be able to turn it off when we're done. This looks super retro. But in like the best sort of ways, in a high quality and way more colorful than retro games way. I like her hammer as well. She's wonderful. Cool. Alright, so we got a heart. Didn't really need it, but that's right. These crabs. Oh, I thought you'd give me another heart. Ah, oh, this one right there, though. Well, it's not giving me a new one, because I already have three. Now I could use it, though. Hmm. I think we have to come from this side. So also a chance we might die in spikes. Yeah, a big chance. I guess almost guaranteed. I don't really know how to fix that. It looks like we might get other things in the future, other like weapons. Cause there's like a hammer up top, but also like a skull and a couple of other things. So I wonder if that will then help us go back and get to other areas. What's this? I don't know. 
That's a checkpoint. Oh! That was a secret. I love secrets. I jumped instead of... Or I hit instead of jumped, my bad. Next. I'm playing open world. I had a title screen. It kind of faded away because it took me ages to start recording. Space. Whoa. Do you follow it? This is cool. We're sort of collecting these cubes then. Alright, let's collect the cubes. That seems like the reasonable thing to do. Got you. This isn't weird at all. I'm liking the combination of these two different worlds. How we sort of have like the reality and then the world through this um, painting almost or through this tablet. Which one's the next closest? I, don't, I find the sound to be quite harsh though. But I think it's meant to be. But this one, we gotta go this way next. Hello bushes. Kind of walk towards this. I wonder what happens when we collect all the cubes. Oh, there it is. I wasn't sure where this cube had went. Alright. Space to pick up this one. So many of them. How mysterious. Next. We're playing S, Y, Z, Y, G, Y. Alright, so... I think I'm supposed to hit, like... Space or Alt when this happens. I'm trying to hit it whenever the line crosses. Oh. Now I control, like... Both of them? I keep forgetting about the little one. It's making like beautiful music. I'm not sure what those ones from far away are, or if I'm supposed to hit those as well. Yeah, I am. <laughs> There's a lot of dots to keep track of. <laughs> I'm already missing like half the time anyway. It's really kind of um, captivating to watch this. No, it doesn't give a lot of direction or instructions. But that adds to the mystery of what in the world is going on. Next. 